What happens to school shooters in prison? I get this question asked a lot. Now I seen three during my time in prison and I knew one personally. One I knew personally did this in a middle school in the county that I grew up in. Basically got into an argument with a teacher, came back with a gun and blasted him and killed the teacher. When I met him, we were both on the 12th floor in gun club, charged as adults, facing a lot of time. Luckily for me, I got sentenced as a juvenile, went through programs and youth offender boot camp, but he went to big boy prison. And when I first met him, he was nothing to play with. He was about that action. He was stab, fight. He took shit from nobody. He was off the chain. You could tell he's been through a lot of traumatic experiences at a young age, and maybe that's what caused him to lash out. It doesn't make it right, but he was off the chain. Now, fast forward about eight years, I'm in big boy prison and I see him. And he grew into a man that took full responsibility for what he did, was seeking redemption, trying to educate a lot of these younger inmates in reading and writing and getting their GED. He found God and he was trying to make the best out of a bad situation. So yeah, he had a lot of trials and tribulations along the way, but he did get a lot of respect for changing his life. Now that doesn't make it right, but having an argument with a man, a teacher, and killing him is a lot different than what these other two did. These other two, I think this happened in Jacksonville, killed a bunch of people, and a few of them were like eight-year-old kids. God bless their soul. And they had no remorse. They thought they were gangster until they met the real gangsters. Now, the one that I did know, he got turned out. I mean, as brutal as this sounds, he got turned into a boy. That's prison slang for saying basically he got raped and pushed into being a homosexual when he didn't come into prison as one. I mean, he was taken advantage of in all the wrong ways. The officers would spit in his food, poison his food. I mean, the man had it rough. And rape is horrible no matter how you look at it. But in prison, when you kill a kid, you get no remorse. People don't give you the benefit of the doubt. You're just pure evil. And evil finds evil and makes more evil. And that's exactly what happened to them. Later on, I seen him, he accepted the prison lifestyle. Tattoos everywhere, living that life, boyfriend and everything. But he would get tortured beyond means. I mean, he'd have to pay for protection. He had it rough. Leave our kids alone. 